Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. You know, the topic of menopause can be something we don't talk about a lot. Uh, our next guest says, with the right information, we can make wiser, healthier choices to get us through that time in our lives. She's the president of the Medical Board of California and is here to share her advice on how not to be miserable during <laughs> menopause. Wow. Please welcome <laughs> Denise Pine. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for yes. having us. <laughs> oh, we need all this information. Yes. Um, exactly. As we get a little old. Yes. I, I, I just got to say this. I, I love this show so much, but I tell you, this show has me very afraid. <laughs> and I'm afraid to get older. Right? Oh my God. Just can't win on this show. Right, right. But we give you all the information. We're setting you up. Yes, you are setting me up. Yes. I'm, right. I'm just glad you're here. And, I, and hopefully, you know, throughout the course of the show, you can let me in on why I'm getting all these hot flashes right. in my own private summers. No, that's fine. <clears throat> but you are a huge advocate of menopause education. So what drove you into that direction? So, you know, it sort of really happened to me. I, I was caught off guard. I was felt like I wasn't prepared as I was transitioning into mm. perimenopause. Um, and as I started to go through the process of finding information and talking to my doctor, I got even more unsettled about what you know what options are there medical options h hormone options mm -hmm. and then natural options you know mm -hmm. I'm a natural person so I want sort of natural options and I talked to my physician mm -hmm. they just had no clue or just very not interested and mm -hmm. lackluster mm -hmm. about like approaching it from that perspective right. and mm -hmm. so I studied on my own and found that it's really simple once we understand what's happening we can actually manage menopause. Mm -hmm. can, can you express to us what's perimenopause? So perimenopause is the years before menopause. Mm -hmm. It typically happens at around age 42, and you have a number. <laughs> oh my God! What do you mean? Wait, wait. Here we go. It can happen earlier. It could happen to. Um, it happen earlier if you oh. are in cancer treatment or if. Um, um, you uh, have a, a hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. My aunt went through it really early. Mm -hmm. She went through it in her 30s. Oh my God. Yes, it can happen as early as like 38. There's and, some people. And there's no real cause for the onset of it happening earlier, besides, obviously, if you go through uh, cancer treatment yes. and stuff like that, it could just kind of happen. It could just mm -hmm. kind of happen. Yeah. Oh so my it's goodness. just ge genetics. Um, sometimes it's based on um, our moms, mm -hmm. you know, what, what happened to our moms mm -hmm. or our grandparents. And what are some of the things that women may experience during that time? Mm -hmm. Oh, all kinds of uh, symptoms, anywhere from, you know, vaginal dryness, dry skin, thinning hair, you know, we see Jada Pickett wearing, you know, she sort of talked about it. That's kind of her experience right now. Um, nausea, some women get nauseated, anxiety, you f start forgetting, um, you can't concentrate. Um, so there's lots of different symptoms. Right. What are some little known facts? Because there's a lot of misinformation oh, out there as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Lots of, you know, sort of lots of facts. One, 80% of women are going to experience hot flashes. Um, that um, th back in the day, you know, women, a lot isn't known about a menopause because women didn't really uh, live long. Mm -hmm. So you didn't, they didn't have to think about like women as they got older and now women live really long. Um, they used to use human urine because uh, human urine of women who were pregnant because it held a lot of estrogen mm -hmm. in that urine. And so then that kind of got to be a little weird. Wow, so they yeah, moved yeah. to, no, they moved to <laughs> mare, mare urine. And oh, still, okay. the f typically the first hormone uh, uh, pill that you would go on will be one that's an extract of mm -hmm. um, mare urine. Oh my God, okay. so. Mayor and, 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 and <laughs> to the, to the horses. And, okay, uh, what are some of the things you spoke about? You know, being natural. I love to try my hardest to sure. go natural with everything. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. I, everything yeah. scares me. Like, oh, that's got that yeah. in it. Yeah. I ain't using that no more. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, what are some of the products that? I mean, I'm not really without endorsing anything. Sure. You know, officially. But what are some of the things that you can do naturally to kind of offset? some of the symptoms. So um, massage, getting a, a massage mm -hmm. really helps with uh, creating a, 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 your natural rhythm of your body. M that movement helps um, herbal and supplements mm -hmm. like hot flash tea, mm -hmm. um, I, I, taking I more magnesium, mm -hmm. um, having vitamin mm -hmm. E, more vitamin E, and more vitamin B. We definitely need more mm -hmm. vitamin B. That's where that fatigue and low energy uh, sets in a uh, yoga what? really helps tantra I'm on yoga. My way. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know about tantra yoga, but tantra yoga is really cool. But it's mm -hmm. a, it helps you connect, um, you know, down in this area mm -hmm. and increases the blood flow, mm -hmm. um, um, hypnosis, 
uh, meditation, meditation, acupuncture, acupressure, mm -hmm. and then really something simple like exercise. I know a lot of us, we get so busy um, that we really can't manage getting that exercise mm -hmm. in, but it really helps to temper down the menopausal symptoms. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness. Yeah. I have a question for you. Okay. And I hope and let me know if it's doing too much. Okay, okay. Okay, I have a girlfriend. She just turned 50. Okay. And her menses stopped for like 11 months. Okay. Month 12, bam, came right back on and she's menstruating again. How does that happen? And why? Mm -hmm. That does happen and so she's still pre, pre she's still perimenopause. She's not menopause. You are menopause when you're 12 months no period, not the fluctuation. Mm -hmm. So the other thing you have to be careful about is we tend to think we don't, we, we can't get pregnant, Ooh. right? Because we're not mm. having, you can still get pregnant. Ooh. Even I had if a, there's no uh, menstru menstruation right. happening. Right, yes. Not oh. until it's In completely month. 12 months. Wow. Fully gone. So fully still gone. ovulating, but still ovulating. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Man, <laughs> we're jammed up in every corner. It's but you know, being a woman, well, we spend so thirty percent of our life is going to be in this age group. Yes. So we need to know it. We need to yeah. understand what's going on. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm that's sad. gonna. I just got sad. Don't <laughs> worry. It's fine. You look pretty, girl. You got a little oh, while. You good, you got Denise? Little <laughs> For this Thank valuable you. information. Appreciate for more it. information on hot flash tea, go to teabotanics.com.